Now this is a quick video to show you how to apply wind and seismic loads on a structure. So I'm going to create a structure quickly. I'm going to use the wizard. And then I am going to create frame model by frame. Double click on this one and I'm just going to use uh, uh, a standard uh, Bay frame. Uh, this is 12 meters length, 15 meters height, and uh, 12 meters width. I'm going to apply and I'm going to uh, close this and I'm going to add it to the structure. So this has been created automatically, and then I'm going to assign some of the properties. I'm going to create a beam of depth 0.3. 0.3 by 0.23 then I'm going to uh, add this I'm also going to create a column of 0.23 by 0.23 close also I'm going to create a thickness for my plate element of 0.12 add close now um, the plates have not been added so let's create a plate so I'm going to use my cut section tool change my view I'm going to use my cut section tool select to view okay I'm selecting this to view I'm changing my view and I'm going to add the plate so uh, wait, uh, clicking on the four corners and that creates the plate just to make sure that the plate has been created we just click on this one and we can see that the plate has been created now we need to copy this plate onto the upper floors so for that let's uh, click on this one to see the whole structure and we have to copy it into one two three four floors so i'm going to select this one uh, to select the plate alone and then I'm going to uh, click on the transition tool I'm going to click 4 uh, the spacing is 3 meters and it is in the y direction click OK so that must have created 4 plates let's see what has happened we can see that 4 additional plates have been created now we need to assign the beams so first click on the property and then we are going to use the select tool select beams parallel to x and select beam parallel to parallel to z and assign to selected beams that must have assigned it to the beams and then i'm going to assign the column for that i have selected the material property and then i'm going to select beams parallel uh, beams parallel to y Assign to select beams, assign a plate thickness. I'm going to assign to view because it will only assign to the plates. So, just to make sure that the assignment is correct, uh, I can check on the rendered view to see that uh, all the assignments and the plate locations are on as expected. And then I'm going to assign to create a, a support. So, I'm going to assume fix support, uh, which indicates it's a pile foundation. Uh, now I need to select the bottom nodes alone for that let me change my view let me change it to this one and I'm going to select this select to assign selected nodes assign just change the view so that uh, just to make sure that it has been assigned as expected now once this is done let's quickly move into the load application now one thing we need to be careful before applying the load cases like the little loads and the live loads we have to define the seismic loads uh, and, then as, uh, and then add them as load cases before adding the load and the uh, dead load and the live loads so let's create the seismic load first add uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, IBC International Building Code 2012 ACACE 710 select this one and then hit on uh, this uh, we are just using the default values in case you know the zip code for example this code 
uh, zip code is assigned it quickly calculates or uh, the factors such as ss s1 uh, from the structure and then uh, from the from the data and the floor loads we are going to uh, close save so let's add this once this has been added hit on this one assign a self weight factor add and then assign the floor weights of we have a total floor weight in, which includes dead load and live load of 4.5 so that is 1.5 the distributed uh, floor finish and uh, 3 kilonewton per meter square as a distributed live load let's give 4.5 and let's give a maximum value of in the y range as 18 sorry 15 which is the total height so let's give 15.1 for example just to make sure that it covers the whole add it and then uh, this has because we are assigning a range it add, automatically adds it and then that's it and then to add the bin definition click on add just add this one and then add here we need to calculate the load intensities to calculate the load intensities click on this one define some of the parameters which might be available to you based on the uh, standard that is the building classification category wind speed let's assign a wind speed of 40 and the exposure category and so on we can apply this one and then in the main building data uh, you might you might be aware because we created a building of a total height of 15 and then 12 and width as 12 and if you know the building natural frequency that it can be uh, entered here typically it is uh, calculated as 0.1 times the height so that is 0.1 times 15 meters is 1.5 hertz so it can be applied as 15 hertz this is a rough calculation but based on the weight and, and, and the layout of the um, columns it can be calculated uh, more accurately uh, so click on ok and click add and give a factor of 1 add close and assign this to the view now once all, all these have been done we can uh, start creating the load cases so first create the seismic load case and let's call it uh, e in the x direction add and you have e in the z direction as add and then uh, we have wind that is in the x direction add and then wind in the z direction add and then we can define the dead load let's call it dead add and then you have a live load l i v e add close now uh, click add and then you have seismic just give x direction as it is add and then close this one then you have easy add uh, seismic load in the z direction add close the wind consider this one consider the wind load you have the windward face uh, just add this one and then you have the minus x or the leeward add this one close in wz add wind load in the z direction add and the leeward side add and close when you click on this you can actually see uh, the load applications in, in the directions required and then consider dead load self weight minus y add it as it is and then in the dead load you can also define the floor loads as we mentioned we we'll give minus 1.5 starting from 0 to all the way up to 15.1 say for example uh, you can give uh, add this is the dead load or the floor finish this you can 
applied onto the entire structure assigned to view and you can also add the live load live floor load of minus 3 that make sure it covers the entire structure add and close so the load has all been applied now also let's add the load combinations based on the ASCE so click go to auto load combination ACI generate you can see that uh, the loads uh, all the load combinations as per ACI has been generated just add this one and then we can quickly go to analysis add the analysis and then run the analysis you can see that the analysis is complete and then there are zero errors go to post processing mode just to see the data and then you can just select one of any one of the load combinations for example this one is the first load combinations which is usually 1.4 dead load then you can see uh, the displacements for example cost from this dead load you can see this from the dead load just to see the from the rest the load from the uh, ex which is the earthquake load in x direction earthquake load in c direction then you have wind load from the x direction the effect of the wind load in the z direction the dead load the live load and several other load combinations so this pretty much helps you to uh, assign the loads uh, this is the wind and live loads onto the structure thank you